SBA startup loan. What is it and how does it work? In most cases, acquiring a loan for your startup requires it to have been operating for long enough that it can establish a good cash flow history, healthy profits, and a good business credit score. How then does a small business just starting out who doesn't have this established business history go about securing a startup loan? Introducing the Small Business Administration or SBA. SBA's main function is to provide funding for small businesses and startups who otherwise might find it difficult to find a lender to extend loans to them. The SBA startup loan is a general term given to a group of loans that the Small Business Administration either provides the funds for itself, guarantees the funds on behalf of the borrower for a third-party lender, or oversees the loans from third parties that it works with. This last point is to ensure that the lenders are offering terms and rates that are reasonable for the new business owner. The list of startup loans the SBA offers are as follows. The SBA 7A loan, which offers loans up to $5 million. The SBA micro loan offers up to $13,000. The SBA express loan provides up to $500,000 where any amount up to $25,000 does not require any collateral and as the name suggests, they promise to respond to your application within 36 hours. The SBA 504 loan also provides amounts up to $5 million but are intended for companies operating in communities that need development. The SBA Community Advantage loan offers up to $350,000 and is extended to businesses operating in underserved communities. In order to qualify for one of these loans, there are certain requirements that your business needs to possess. In most cases, and generally speaking, the following is a list of these requirements. But keep in mind that each loan type will have its own specific additional requirement which you can find by clicking the FinMPAC link in the description below. Your business must be intended for making a profit as opposed to a charity or organization. You need to be considered a small business. Your business needs to be already operating or preparing to start operating within the U.S. You need to be able to demonstrate that you've invested either your own money or your time in your business. Demonstrate the need for a loan. Demonstrate that you'll use the funds for sound business purposes. That you do not owe money to the U.S. government. A full business plan that you're not receiving any funds from another financial lender, and finally, a personal history of good credit. This might seem a little overwhelming. However, it's worth the time and effort since the SBA's intention is to actually help. The SBA also offers business advice, business planning, and mentoring services, and we highly recommend that you contact your local SBA office to make use of these services. They'll guide you through the process and offer you the best possible advice on how to proceed. For more information on this subject or for any other, please visit www.finimpact.com.